I give glory all to you, God Almighty. Thank you for the rain at this time, oh dear God Almighty. We praise you, we exhort you. I welcome you, brethren, all of us, to this uh, National Prayer Conference once again. When we share the word of God, I am delighted for what the Lord has been doing and been speaking to us uh, through this uh, platform. May God bless each and every one of us who have been consistent. I also want to thank uh, Reverend Bogwa for being uh, such a wonderful uh, director to us, for the way he has organized us that we may be able to hear the word more and more and even commit ourselves to prayer. I do thank all the men of God who have gone before me and have shared the word. It has been powerful, it has encouraged me, and I go, give God the glory. I want to share the word of God tonight from the book of Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. I know it is a text that has been shared over and over again, uh, but it is powerful and then this is what the Lord wants us to hear. So the Bible say in the book of Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1, ask of the Lord for the rain in, in the spring and he will give it, it is the Lord who makes the storm clouds and drop showers of rain so that every field become lush pasture. I want to say to us that uh, in order for us to build the capacity, the Lord is asking us to ask the Lord for the rain in the spring. To build the capacity, we need God to give us the ability by the Holy Spirit. It is God, it is the Lord who makes the clouds and the storms. That's what the Bible says. He gives the rain to men and he gives the plants of the field to everyone. The book of Matthew chapter 25 and verse 13, the Bible says, so keep on watching because you do not know the day or the hour. All we know is that uh, the hour is very near now than before. But the Lord is telling us, keep on watching. And this is what we've been doing, brethren. Keeping watching, praying in a secret place, hiding before the Lord, going where in the presence of the Lord. So we've been watching and uh, this is the requirement that as we are asking of God to give us the rain, we need to watch because we do not know the hour. We know it is near, but only the Lord who knows the hour. Um, the verse 14 of the same Matthew 25, it says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man trading, uh, traveling into a country who called his servant and delivered unto them his goods. And we know very well the Bible is talking about Jesus Christ. And what did he do? To one he gave five talents, to another he gave two, and to another he gave one. So how did he give these uh, talents to them? He gave them based on the ability, not on spirituality. So that means if, that, uh, if we want to increase what he has given to you or he has given to me, then we need to increase our capacity. Now, a capacity is the ability to deliver. No amount of motivation can give you capacity. We have been fasting, yes. We have been seeking the Lord fervently. We've been listening to the word over and over daily, early in the morning and uh, late in the evening. What have we been doing? We've been building the capacity. And I thank God because of National Prayer Conference uh, platform, of, because through it, we have increased our capacity. I humbly ask our, doc, uh, our director, Reverend Bogwa, that this platform may continue and uh, for many, many more other days. And as, of, as many as of this opinion, can we say yes? and we clap our hands. Now, the Lord 
Number two, as the, 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 we build our capacity, the Lord will anoint us at this time. He will anoint us. Anoint us. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24, but those who are called both Jews and Greek, the Messiah is God's power and God's wisdom. So he will anoint us, not only with power, but he is going to anoint us with wisdom. I say this, that anointing stands on two legs, and one leg is God's power. Now, God's power, uh, anointing, what is anointing? Anointing is a desire, is a divine empowerment to do things on earth as God would do. Is to make the, the, the will of God, is to make the will of God be done here on earth as it is in heaven. The book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ. Christ is the anointed one and his anointing. So can we say it this way? I can do all things through Instead of saying Christ, we say the anointing who strengthens me. So the anointing, I have said again, is the divine en uh, enablement. So if anyone be in Christ, therefore, in the anointing, Christ, in the anointing of a new, uh, he is a new creature. And things have passed away. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When Christ anoints us, we become new creatures. And we are empowered. We are endued with the power. We are endued with the dunamis. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, the Bible says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Power is for witnessing power in God's hands the Bible says in the book of Job 37 and verse 23 that God is the powerful that we cannot come near to him but he is always kind and fair to everyone King James Version the Bible say he is the excellent power in judgment and in plenty of justice, he will not afflict. God's anointing will give us power. God's anointing, leg number two, is that he will give us wisdom. The Lord will fill us with his wisdom. During this rainy season, the rainy season in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit, he will fill us with wisdom. The book of Exodus chapter 35 and 25, the Bible says, Every skilled woman span with her hands and brought what she had spun. Blue, purple, scarlet material, and fine linen. Exodus 35 and 35, it says, That them had he filled with wisdom of heart. To work all manner of work. Now, and the wisdom that God gives us, it comes with work. So, in this day of the great reign of revival, we are receiving wisdom. And as we receive wisdom, which will be accompanied by work. God is going to give us excellence in our work. The book of uh, uh, Kings chapter 4 and verse 29 and 35 it shows us how the king uh king uh, solomon was given power the, the bible says in verse 29 and god gave solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and uh, largeness of heart even as this uh, as the sand is uh, as the sand is on the seashore and Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all children of the East Coast and all the wisdom of Egypt 
for he was wiser than all the men. And everybody said amen. And that is the kind of wisdom that God is giving to us at this time. Now, the wisdom that was given to Solomon gave him wealth. So wisdom is always accompanied with work. More so, when wisdom is, is, is on you, then you answer questions. People have questions. The world is ask, have, have asking questions because they do not know what to do. At this time, we can see during this uh, time season of uh, COVID-19, the world is asking questions. The science, the doctors cannot help. So who has the answer? It is the church that has the answer. And I want to say this, that the Lord is giving us during this time of rainy season. He is giving us so much power that we are going to be endued with so much power and that we're going to answer questions. Now, the Bible records in the book of uh, uh, First Kings in chapter 10 that Queen Sheba visited King Solomon and she had questions. That is according to First Kings 10 and verse 1. She went there. And she, she did not go empty-handed. She went carrying a great train of camel, spice, spices, and gold, and precious stones. And when Solomon answered all her questions, verse 3, she gave the wealth. She gave the gifts to Solomon. I want to say tonight that God is going to answer and give the wealth to the church again so the wisdom the anointing that is coming at this time through the holy spirit is the the the, the anointing that will come with power not only power but it will come with so much wisdom and therefore i want to say to us church that as solomon was filled with wisdom so shall we be and through his wisdom solomon was paid for consultancy he was answering to, to, to the questions of kings all over. He became one of a person that who had a, a, a magnetic, a magnetic power to pull wealth to him. And this is what the church is going to become. The church of the latter is going to attract wealth. The Bible says that the wealth of the heathen is heaped up because of the righteous and i want to say in this last day the lord is giving us rain to men and he is giving us oh lord he is giving us the the the, 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 the land the field our field that are going to be full of pasture father we thank you for this moment i thank you for your word tonight i know that god you are doing something new something wonderful something great bless every listener who is listening to this audio today that God there will be vast in our land and that God we are receiving the reign of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus we now pray and we say Amen. Amen.